everyone, if you've been wondering how I light my season blender, today is your lucky day, my dear bestie. Um, let me show you some of the examples in which I've used this technique in. Real the examples. Bam, 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 bam. Okay. All right, the first thing that I usually do and that I think everybody does is add an HDRI. So we're gonna go ahead into the world properties, select a color, environment texture, and look for an HDRI. Some of the best sources to find these HDRIs are Polyhaven or HDRI Haven. Here you can find some free HDRI textures that you can add into your scene and start off the lighting process. For the sake of keeping things briefed on this video, I'm gonna go ahead and go back into the HDRI that I already had on my scene and I'm going to tone the strength down to 0.8. I like to keep things organized over here. So as you can see, I have a collection for the lights. This is lights too, because this is my second try at the lights. And above in that filter button over there, I'm gonna enable for this collection, the indirect only. The reason for this is because we will be using a circle plane later on and we're gonna add a emission shader to it. If we do not enable the indirect only, we will be able to see the entire plane in the camera and we do not want that. One of my favorite lights to add into my scenes are spotlights. We can add spotlights by pressing shift A, going into lights and then selecting spot. These types of lights are super easy to add and they make you feel like you're in a photography studio. You can change the color, the power, the radius, uh, the spot size, the blend, and you can even show the cone to see the direction in which the light is being directed to. So this is usually this and the sun lamp are one of the first lights that I start to play around with when I'm lighting my scenes. Let's move on and let me show you my actual favorite technique to light things in Blender. And it is by using a plane. In this case, it's a circle plane and adding an emission shader to it like I mentioned before. In order to do this, we need to press Shift A, add a circle, and go ahead and go into edit mode. Once we are in edit mode, we're gonna select all of our edges and we are going to press F to fill that face. And that's pretty much it for the model. After we're done with that, we're gonna go ahead and add a material, name it something that will let you know that this is a light. And delete the principal BSCF and add an emission shader. This is where you will be able to control the power of the light and also the color. Feel free to move this bad boy wherever you need it and play around with the lights, the strength. You can even add a gradient texture and add images and input it into the color socket and get creative. An important thing that you cannot forget to do is go into the object properties and disable the shadows in the ray visibility. This is so you don't see that plane in the camera. You can also disable the glossy, the diffuse, the transmission or any other channel that do not want that light to affect. Before I forget, this is an example of the indirect filter checked on. So please do not forget to check it on if you're using the planes with an emission shader. So I guess that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys have any questions, make sure to leave them down in the comments. And I will try my best to respond to any inquietudes que tengan. Okay, okay. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a good day. Bye-bye.